wonder who that is at the boat ramp premiere painting they do a great job he's done work for me check him out look him up there he is now i see you boy little sneaky little sneak little sneaky sneaky on the the old little sneaky pete can't tell you what it is get my pliers not a, not a, oh good lord, look at the, look at the light. I'm all blowed out. Decent one. Keep, eh, might be a keeper, I don't know. Gotcha. Come on, come on, Sonny. Yeah. Get in here. Look at that. Oh, 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 hey, whoa. Hold up, bucko. Hold up, bucko. I'm gonna put you back. I'm gonna put you back. Uh-oh. Oh, he's barely hooked. He's barely freaking hooked. Barely hooked. Don't come off. Don't come off, baby. Come here. Come here. Ah, don't you jump. Ah, ah. Oh, he came off. He came off. He came off. Can't see. All right, so what I'm doing is just pretty much moving from piling to piling uh, on this bridge. And it seems like a little bit of wind. These fish are, is that like really bright? These fish are, um, they're either on the front. Well, you know what? They're all the way around these pilings. And you kind of, you got to be a little bit sneaky with them too. Because I think once they hear your trolling motor, like you can't get real close to them, we're going to keep doing it. We'll see what happens. I'll, I'll figure out next one I get. I'll just ask and be like, what freaks you out the most about boats? Is it the transducer? Is it the motor? Like, what is it? Just tell me. I'll, I'll get back with y'all. Hold on. Come on here, Betsy. Dude, these little. Get in here. Got a boy. All right, don't get near my cameras. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, whoa. Hey. Hey, I'm your friend. I'm your friend here. Decent little fit. Look at the look at the belly. Look at that belly on that guy. There's a ton. Get back in there. Right there. That's bass. They're on this bridge piling, and I think the deal is like you can't get too close to them. Because I had to switch bridge pilings, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this little spoon over here and watch her drop. ton of them right there, like right on that corner. Cause I don't ever want to feel. I can't tell where that's at, dude. I don't know if that's. Now let's move around to the other side. See what happens. Another spoon fish. Should chill. And this, like I said, this is fun. Catching these, uh, fish on pylons the garmin live scope it's it's crazy fun it's kind of like crappy fishing but better because you get these tankers i mean it's ain't a tanker but you know what i'm saying that's a that's a good solid fish that my friend oh that's another one damn it came off son of a so that was a smaller fish it's like little schools in here i don't know if you can get a get you a pull off that right there if you can see it Looks like I'm taking a poop on the front deck of my boat if anybody's watching, but uh, these little schools of fish, man. Some some have been pretty good, ain't gonna lie. Thing is, man, it's getting them fired up. And I lost a good one. Probably a four pounder, I'd say. Three and a half, something like that. You can see them down there on the live scope. Here comes a school of them just chasing it. I 
it's fun nevertheless just watching them on this live scope and I wish I had a way to record video on this thing because it's almost like crappy fishing dude it's almost like crappy fishing watch them just come up eat it I love how they react to it I like how they come up and they react to it you know or like when you first drop it in it's like a freaking it's like a bunch of dogs getting on a cat oh shit they're schooling right there Oh God, one's got it, one's got it. Oh, dude, and they're schooling right over here. Look at the, look at the small mouth. Dude, you should have seen that small mouth that was with it. Holy crap. Stay on, get your butt in here. Get your butt, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, Papa. All right, all right, all right, all right, Bobby. Hey, hey, whoa. I'm your friend down here, bro. All right, so I done went across this whole bridge. I might, I might have lost more than I actually caught. Water temp, 79 degrees. I mean, I'm in, I don't know, 80 foot of water. The fish are up, you know, they're, they're probably 20, they're anywhere from like 10 foot to 30 foot down these pylons. The cool part about, I swear the cool part about it, like if you don't, you can, you can find these fish, like you can, you can see these fish on a regular depth finder. They just, you won't be able to see them react, but you can see them, you can see the arches around them. But I'm gonna tell you what, man, those bass, when they're ready to eat, they're ready to eat. Like they don't hold back, they go, it, it's crazy. That's probably why I'm missing so many because I'm watching them. And when I see them, see them eat it, I feel it. And then I try to pop them and it's too soon. Like they ain't really got it all the way in their mouth. I did have some up next to the boat that come off, but my hook's like that big, all right? It's a little hook. I don't know what it is I'm throwing, but I'll show you at the end of the video. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna come back to this first piling and see if we can't see some more down here. But damn, I'm telling you, it's fun. It's I swear it's like crappy fishing, just like it. Summertime spooning, baby. Golly, that sounds good. Summertime spooning. Okay. And the wind's starting to pick up too. And the old 10 killer has a hard time with the wind, don't you, boy? Huh? Don't you, boy? There he is. Oh, it came off. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Dude, I'm telling you, like, when they start getting in those little wolf packs, you, you know you about ready to get one. You know you fitting to get drilled. Dang. I mean, this little spoon that I'm throwing has got like little, like teeny weeny hooks on it. So I don't have any hooks with me. I need to upgrade, like upsize my damn hooks. But I can't because I ain't got none on me. Oh, we come off. You gotta let them eat them, Shannon. You got to let them eat them. Let the boy eat. That was a good one too. I seen him on my freaking, uh, seen him on my live scope coming up, getting ready to gulp it. And that right there, that was fun. That was fun. Came out kind of, I mean, I don't know, what time is it? Seven o'clock? I think I got down here at like four o'clock. I was gonna go to the other ramp up the river, way up the river where I normally fish. The water's so low. I don't wanna pop any more trailer tires. See what I'm saying, know what I mean? I caught an audible and came down towards the middle of the lake and fished a little bit. Got on them pretty good, throwing like a little, like a little silver buddy on those bridge pylons. Bro, I wish I could show you like the footage of the depth finder when those things got riled up because it was like a pack of dogs on a freaking piece of meat. It was it was pretty killer. And then I went and done some offshore structure stuff. That was fun as well. And uh, got on, you know, a couple smaller fish, but you know, they was nibbling. 
whatnot. So let me load this boat. I will say, live scope does play a big factor in finding some of these fish, especially water temples, what what I say, 79? You know, you can find fish with a regular unit, and especially like those bridge piling fish, like you can you can see them on 2D sonar, you know what I'm saying? Like you can, you can see them, but the fun part is them mugs coming up and just chasing after that spoon or that silver buddy I had, chasing it like fighting after it. And dude, I bet I lost five or six at the boat. I lost a really good one at the boat too, but it's just crazy how those fish will act when they're like fighting for food. You know, it's like, it's like straight up survival mode, bro. If you don't eat, you don't live. Days are gonna start getting shorter and cooler. Looking forward to some fall fishing. Oh, and another thing, yeah. Did you see the, um, I wonder if I can put this right here and talk, if it'd be okay. Also, did you see the fish? Like when I was, I might've had a fish on, on that silver buddy. I think I had one on, and then they started schooling in front of the bridge piling, a big school. It was it was pretty cool. Not, it was a good sized school right in front of that bridge piling. I had a fish on or something. I couldn't get my, couldn't throw it over there in time, but dude, I swear it's just like crappy fishing. That whole deal is just like crappy fish. It's just like finding crappy in a in a piece of brush and just dropping your, your minna, your power bait, your gulp minna down there and watching them come up and eat it. Same way with spoon fishing. Crazy. Crazy. And I wish you could have seen that small mouth that came up with when I had hooked. That small mouth was, it scared me a little bit. It was big and brown. It scared me a little bit. So, hey, appreciate y'all watching. Catch me on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and um, yeah. Until next time, we'll catch you on the flip-flop. Yeah!